Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jones here, back again, giving you another Mass Effect Andromeda build video. Today we have landed upon the Solarian Architect, and this is kind of a weird character in my opinion because of the Remnant VI. So what the Remnant VI actually does is it basically enables you to take a fifth person with you because the Remnant VI does not stay with you, he just goes around, roams around, shooting stuff. And that's about it. However, let's go into the tech tree of the Remnant VI. We're going for recharge speed at rank 4 because I found that expedited repairs either does not work or only repairs to about a percentage of the base health. The reason why I'm saying this is because I have had it happen more than once that my Remnant VI at the end of the wave was close to dying and died immediately at the beginning of the next wave. So either Expedited repairs doesn't work or only heals about a percentage of the base health. That's that's what I think happens here. I hope it's a bug and that Bioware fixes this in the future. If it is fixed at some point in time, uh, then I do recommend expedited repairs. But as it is now, just go for recharge speed. If the Remnant VI dies, we can get it into the battlefield quicker. At rank 5, we are going for close combat module in gold. If you go with the focus module in gold, uh, the Remnant VI will most likely die. Giving him close combat module instead will ensure that he has more survivability. In rank 6, we're going for detonating missiles so that we can trigger combo detonations. This missile also does 450 damage, giving our Remnant VI a little bit of burst every 5 seconds. However, the trade-off is it is not a reliable detonator. Like I said, the Remnant VI just roams around, does his own thing, and if you're gonna try and babysit him by taking electric beam and just wait until something gets primed, you're not gonna have a good time. If you wanna roam around following your Remnant VI everywhere, be my guest. I don't find it to be fun, so I'm going for the de detonating missiles instead. In Incinerate Rank 4, we are going for Radius because if we incinerate someone, we wanna incinerate as many people close to that person as possible. At rank 5 we are going for anti-armor so that we can deal more damage against armor targets like for example berserkers, hydras, nullifiers, um, fiends, you know the high priority targets that you want to have dead as quickly as possible. Incinerate anti-armor will help you there. And at rank 6 we are going for detonator because the Solarian Architect is probably the only character that I am going to heavily recommend uh, an elemental ammo mod with because like i said the remnant vi is not a reliable detonator so we gonna we're gonna have to rely on our own detonations so taking an incendiary ammo mod with us and detonator in incinerate will allow us to do even more fire combos in rank 5 we are going for anti armor so that our incinerate does even more damage against armor targets and at rank 6 we're going for elemental tech which will cause enemies that we inflict with a status effect to take more damage from heat, cold, or electricity. So if we incinerate somebody, he will take more damage from our elemental mod, for example. In support systems, we are going for tech radius at rank 4, giving us more radius on our incinerate, and also more radius on our um, missiles for the tech construct, which is going to be our remnant VI, giving us more chance of those missiles to actually detonate something. At rank 5, we are going for advanced construction, giving us more health, more shields, and also more construct health. At the end, our remnant VI will have about 3,100 something health, which is a lot of health. Like I said, it's going to be like a, like a, like a fifth person, but because he doesn't do as much damage as a fifth person, it's kind of a shitty fifth person. And at rank 6, we're going for tech sabotage. Every time we hit someone with our powers, they will deal 30% less damage for 8 seconds. That's a lot of time. Mostly in those 8 seconds, the thing we hit dies. So having him deal less damage is pretty good. Having those nullifiers deal less damage, for example, or those Krogans deal less damage. Those Hydras, that's, that, that's, that's basically your priority targets here. When it comes to the loadout, you can use any weapon you so desire. I do highly recommend a pistol or an SMG because we will be taking the expert package. The expert package will increase the damage of our pistol by 10% and increase the power recharge speed by 15% as well. Meaning that if our Remnant VI dies, we can get him back into the battlefield faster and we can also use our incinerate faster. With that all said and done, let's go check him out in a gold match. Don't forget your ammo mods.
critical data. Find the location and upload the intel.
Hostiles en route. Get away from here. data sources, get them uploaded before we lose the connection.
on me. <laughs> 